today we're going to be revisiting an older video to see what sold, what I made a profit on, and what I probably could have left on the shelf. Okay, well today we are at 272 Antiques. I have to say, it's been about a year since the last time I was here. Since it's been a while, I'm optimistic. I feel like we're gonna find some good stuff today that we can buy and flip for a profit. Here we go. This bowl looks interesting. Ooh, I would say that might be Murano. Hand blown, $10. I'm gonna check it with my black light. All right, let's see here. No, it does not glow. It does glow to the naked eye. Oh but it's got little flakes in there. Definitely hand blown, only $10. I think that's worth it for us. Here is a black glass dish. It kind of looks like a overturned umbrella. It's kind of what I thought when I first saw it. It's only $15. And the florals on that are really nice, the way they contrast with the black glass, so. All right, there's our second glass piece of the day. I also really love this. It's an art pottery bowl, but it's a scene of um, like a ocean scene. And you can see the ships out there. Just kind of looks like um, the ocean at sunset. And they have only $10 on that. So I think I'm gonna ask uh, to get a key and get in there. That purse back there is also very neat. So we'll check those two pieces out. Yeah, so that's $10 on the purse and $10 on that, and we're going to take those with us. I noticed this cat. This is a wall climbing cat. Um, spooky white cat. Maybe spooky is the name of the booth. I don't know, I don't think the cat's very spooky. I'm having a hard time getting a peek at the tag though, so I'm gonna set it down and look. $24. Um, it is a wall climber, so you hang it on the wall and it looks like it's climbing the wall. It's in better condition than other ones I've seen that are made in Japan. It's possibly made in Japan, but um, I feel like 24, maybe I'll take that with me. I love that please get wall planter too. I've actually, I've actually bought and sold that one before though. Lots of figurines in this booth. Here's a dog with a butterfly. Let's check him out. It's hard to make out that mark. He might be uh, Japan. He kind of reminds me of a Wymanheimer, <laughs> which I don't really see very many of. Usually it's hound dogs or labs. Like that little guy or him. And uh, the other one I was noticing was this cat back here. Blue cat is all that it says. Um, he appears to be molded rather than hand blown. Let's see him up here. And he's smiling. He's got a big smile on his face. That is a happy cat. What is this? Okay, I'm gonna get down again. <laughs> this is a pink and black bohemian art deco decanter yes it is i love the contrast between the pink and the black and uh i don't think that these little cups like go with it um but 38 dollars on that and i think the color combination is what's selling me on that because that is delightful and i mean you could pair it with um little pink depression glasses that would work so <laughs> i think i'm gonna i'm gonna buy this one the other thing I noticed was this up here because we had a green one similar to this recently and when I was researching it, I found a lot with the butterfly and the butterfly tends to do better. Um, the butterfly on the stem. So this is $75, but after having looked up comps for the green one and seeing what the butterfly stems sell for, I think I might um, put down $75 for this. The other one I really like is that one up there. Unfortunately, it looks like it may have had a lid and the lid is gone. 
But that is like a butterscotch in pulley. There are a ton of figurines in this booth as well. We've got these little cows and stuff, but really what I've zeroed in on are these puppy dogs with the spaghetti. Let's see what the price is on those. $15 for the pair. There are two of them. They're like Dalmatians and, and Spaniels at the same time. I'm not sure what he's got in his mouth. <laughs> Let's see this one back here. Oh, that one's got a bell on his collar, so I assume the other one is probably eating his bell. He's had enough. Only $15 for the pair of those. <laughs> this rooster from Portugal. The last one I bought um, was at Shub's Grove with my son, and uh, he was all excited about it, and then it broke on the way home. I think that one of the wings came off, so that was a bummer. But this one seems to be in good condition. And uh, it's $14, so we'll take him for $14. All right, well our total spend here was $209.90. And we got some pretty, pretty neat pieces. I'm very excited about that butterfly. Um, it's kind of like a pitcher. I guess it could be a pitcher. The butterfly pitcher, I was excited for that. Um, it is 4.42 now, <laughs> and I have an hour and 20 minutes home. Um, so I think I'm gonna hit the road. Uh, I actually hit up three antique malls today. And now with the rising gas prices, I think I'm going to uh, try to fit more into my days to make up for it so I don't have to travel as far as often. Um, but we're gonna get out of here now and I will see all of you tomorrow. So long. Thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video. In case you spotted something you just can't live without, we do post 25 to 30 new items in our eBay shop every single day and I've posted a link to that down in the description. If you enjoyed this video, we will be posting videos just like this every Wednesday, Friday, and Sunday. So make sure you stay tuned, make sure you hit the subscribe button and I have included a link to the playlist down in the description.